welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be discussing about the windows services that you should disable right now on your windows 10 and windows 11. now there are many unwanted services that are running in the background that you are not using and somewhere they are utilizing the resources that can slow down the computer performance now if i bring up my task manager and go to the performance so you can see the process utilization thread handle running in the background the cpu and the memory usage now this can be high because of the services unwanted services that you are not using but still they are running in the background so it's a better choice that you should go ahead and disable them so that these number of processes and threads should be reduced and even the performance will be boosted okay so what you will have to do click on your windows search type services hit the enter key the services box will be up now before disabling the services there are few things that you need to keep in your mind that many services will depend on your need like bluetooth the fax the printer if you don't need it you can disable it but if you don't need it if you don't use it then you have to disable it okay so in between i will let you know that what are the optional and that depend on you the very first service that we have is the activex installer that is basically used for internet explorer which we don't need anymore okay so what you will have to do you need to double click on it and from the startup type you have to select the drop down and choose disabled and make sure the status has been stopped then you have to click on apply click on ok now you can scroll down and then here you will find the BitLocker Drive Encryption. So BitLocker Drive Encryption is basically used to encrypt your drive. It can be your C drive or any other drive. So if you don't need the BitLocker as well, if you have never used it, never planning to use it, then you also need to disable it. So double click on it. From the drop down of a startup type, choose it to disable. Make sure the status has been stopped, then click on apply, click on OK then you have the bluetooth audio service bluetooth support service now as i said there will be few services that will depend on you if you don't need the bluetooth if you don't use bluetooth on your device you can go ahead and disable all of them do the same with all kind of bluetooth here go ahead and disable them make sure that it has been stopped Now above there is one more service that I missed that is assigned access manager service. Now if you double click on it, it says assigned access manager support kiosk experience in windows. So basically it allow you to place the restriction on your computer and this mode is not needed if you don't use a public facing computer and majority of the people they do not use it. So you can also disable it. There is no need to run it click on apply click on ok and now if you scroll down to the c section you will find a service by the name connected user experience this one now this is responsible for sending your usage and diagnostic data to the microsoft server which i think that is not required so it says connected user experience and telemetry so again you have to double click on it from the startup type choose it to disable click on stop the service click on apply and then click on ok now you have to again scroll down and you have to look for the diagnostic execution service here it is now this is also not required because this is used for the troubleshooting which is not supported anymore so click on diagnostic execution service from the drop down choose it to disable make sure it's been stopped click on apply click on ok do the same with diagnostic policy service disable them click on stop click on apply click on ok then you have the diagnostic service host do the same with it disable it apply ok then you have diagnostic service host you have to disable them all and then scroll down and you have to come to the geolocation service now the geolocation service is basically not required anymore because this is used uh, for the mapping on your PC which I guess none of the people use it so again double click on the geolocation service from the startup type click on disable click on stop to stop the service click on apply click on ok 
then you will find the hyper v now many people use it many people they do not use it this is basically used for the virtual machine so it all depend on you many time it's also used for the virtualization like running a google play store or blue stack on your computer so it's also optional if you don't need it you can disable it but i won't recommend you to disable it keep it running and then you have the ip helper if you double click on it it says provide connectivity using ip version 6 now many people majority of the people they are using the ip version 4 and it's not required anymore so you can click on the startup type and again disable it click on stop click on apply click on ok okay now next we have the net logon double click on it now this service is basically used for the domain network and if you're not connected to any kind of domain there is no need to keep the service on but if you are connected to any kind of domain then you can leave it but if not go ahead and disable it click on apply click on ok and then you have to scroll down and look for optimized drive now you can disable it if you like to defrag your hard drive manually if you don't want that there should be any kind of optimization of your disk your ssd automatically which is also not recommended then double click on it and select to disable and stop the service click on apply click on ok and then you will find the phone service again double click on it now it says manage the telephony state on the device so basically it handles the connection between your computer and the mobile devices and if you don't need such kind of services where you have to use the mobile phone calling from your device from your windows there is no need to keep the service running okay rest it's all up to you if you use this kind of service you can leave it but if you don't need go ahead and disable it and now next we have the print spooler so if you don't use the printer on your computer or you're not planning to use the printer then go ahead and disable the service as well now scroll down and you will find the remote desktop configuration now these remote desktop services are very important what you need to keep in your mind that if you don't connect to any other computer remotely or you don't want that anybody can connect to your computer remotely or if you are not connected to any kind of domain where you have to use the remote desktop connection then kindly go ahead and disable it because it will also help you to avoid any kind of hacking okay so if you don't need it again go ahead and disable it make sure it's been stopped click on apply click on ok do the same with the remote desktop service disable it click on apply click on ok remote desktop services user mode port redirector you have to do the same disable it make sure it's been stopped click on apply click on ok that's it what you have to do now next we have the sensor service so again scroll down and you will find a sensor service double click on it now it manages integration with the sensors like gps and ambient light sensor so if you don't need such kind of requirement then go ahead and disable it there is no need now don't worry in case in future if you need any of the services then you can come back to the services and re-enable it back okay it won't affect your computer then you have the smart card double click on it now these services are related to authentication on windows devices but you can disable them if you prefer using a keyboard for login okay so if you don't need the auto login or any kind of sd card or smart card then you can go ahead and disable it again this is optional as i said if you need the manual login from the keyboard then you can go ahead and disable them click on apply click on ok do the same with the smart card device enumeration service disable them click on apply click on ok and also with the smart card removal policy go ahead and disable it click apply click on ok okay now next you have to come to the w section and you have to look for the windows biometric service so double click on it now basically this service enable the fingerprint to unlock functionality on your laptop so if you use the fingerprint unlock lock option then you can keep it as it is but if you don't need the fingerprint login then you can go ahead and disable this option this is especially for the pc user and even if you are using the laptop and you don't need the biometric scanning service 
go ahead and disable it then you have to look for windows error reporting service so scroll down and here you will find windows error reporting service now it will capture the event whenever you face any kind of error on windows or you want to generate the information about the error that sent the report to the microsoft for the further diagnostic now there is no need of this and even it doesn't matter if you send any kind of report nothing help you out okay i personally disable the service so you can also go ahead and disable it if you don't need so again click on the startup type choose it to disable make sure the status has been stopped for all the services whichever you are disabling then you have to click on apply click on ok and now next you have to look for the work folder double click on it now this service basically synchronize the services between the work computer and the personal computer so again if you're not connected to any kind of domain or you are not in an office where you have connected multiple computer to each other then there is no need to keep it on okay so you can click on the startup type click to disabled apply and then click on okay now you will also find the xbox accessory management service double click on it now again this is optional if you don't use the xbox on your windows then go ahead and disable it okay so click on apply click on ok do the same with all the xbox services and if you are not using the xbox no need to keep them on just go ahead and disable them all so that's all guys for today so these are the services that you will have to disable and once you have disabled them and the next time when you will restart the computer and again go to the task manager and go to the performance tab you will find that there will be a lot of drop in the processes thread in the handle and even the high cpu and the memory usage problem will be also fixed now additionally as a bonus tip is still if you have the high cpu or the memory usage i would also recommend to disable the service by the name sysmain okay so you can go ahead and look for sysmain double click on it and again click on disable click on stop click on apply click on ok okay so once you have made all these changes do not forget to go ahead and restart the computer and surely you will find the differences because it makes sense if you are disabling the services that are running in the background whichever you are not using so after that there will be a drop in the process that will be boosting up the performance so that's all guys for today hopefully you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye